Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about my first two days of dental hygiene school. So it's been a long couple of days with probably just a couple hours of sleep in between everything. I was so excited the first night I only got two hours of sleep so I was definitely super tired on Monday. Um, but my school does this thing instead of just jumping right into classes. For the first two days we have like a, a like a boot camp so it's like a slow introduction into the courses um there's a lot of like getting to know each other and and all that and kind of going over syllabuses but i did want to go over kind of like the list of events because we did have some fun stuff thrown in there um so one of the first things that we did was like an icebreaker uh, which was super fun we had to submit facts about ourselves and we had to guess um, what facts went with which person um, and then we took a personality test um, and we had to figure out like what color we were. So I was a blue, if you ever take that test, um, you'll know all about that. So after the personality test, um, we had a couple more things to go through. Um, we did a little bit of intro into a preventative dental class. Um, and then we also went over um, some of the handbook stuff. Um, but the really fun stuff came after we went to lunch and we watched this really short video called um, If Saliva Were Red, which is really fun. Um, just kind of help people become more aware of like um, how diseases are spread through saliva and um, like how maybe you don't necessarily know um, because it's a clear liquid, obviously. But anyways, you'll just have to watch it. But after that, we got our instrument kits, which I was super excited for, and we got our scrubs. So um, our scrub colors, I don't know if I've mentioned, it's like this royal blue color. I think the the true name is like Galaxy Blue for the Cherokee brand, but um, I don't know. It's the color of my high school, so it's whatever. But I wish we would have gotten something a little bit cooler, but whatever. Um, so we did that, and then um, right after that, we... Um, went and finished up our CPR class. So the night before actually I had done all of the online for CPR, which took like four hours. So you will have to take CPR if you're going to dental hygiene. Um, and the online takes like four hours. So be prepared for that. But the actual like class portion of it was super quick, like 30 minutes maybe, um, which was pretty fun. You know, if you've ever seen that um, episode in the office where Dwight's wearing like the mask, <laughs> that's all I could think of like the whole time. But anyways, um, so the first day was really fun and actually um, if you guys want I'll go ahead and show you some of the um, things that I got. So this box right here, um, I don't know if I'll go through all this, but um, we got all of basically our instruments um, and here we've got, you know, little tools, all this stuff, um, mirrors. Um, I'm not going to take everything out, but, um, we've got our kits, um, our perio kits and our, um, normal kits. Um, we wash our hands a lot. So we got big tubs of soap and, um, we also got a lot of lotion, um, so that our hands don't crack. Um, I don't know, there's more in there, but it's all basically just like the instruments and stuff. And, um... Maybe once I actually learn what all of those different instruments are, maybe I'll do a video on that. About, I mean, who knows? But right now, this is all foreign to me, and I'm really excited to learn what, you know, all the different things are and how to use them. But until that point, this is just a box of very sharp tools. <laughs> then we got another big box of stuff. So we got um, a piece for the x-ray machine. We got, um, oh, it's his long name, but it's a, basically a blood pressure cuff. I, I don't know how to say all that, but <laughs> um, blood pressure cuff. We got a stethoscope. Um, so fun for that. We're going to learn how to use that. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of just like random stuff. Like we've got pens. Um, we got eye protection. Um, I thought of something fun, uh, vitamin E, which, um, helps, I guess, people with their chapped lips when we're working on them. Um, 
heads up, anybody that would like to be my patient, because I'm going to need some, um, <laughs> you're going to have to keep your mouth open for like a couple of hours. So um, I really do appreciate it for all my future patients, but I'll probably use some vitamin E on your lips. So we can help out with that. Um, I don't know, it's fun stuff like floss dispenser. I don't know, a whole bunch of fun stuff. Um, and then also for anatomy, which I'm taking this semester, we got a fun little skull here. Um, so I'm excited to learn about this. I mean, I, I learned about it in my prerequisite of anatomy, but we did not have our own skull, which is pretty fun. So a couple thousand dollars and I got myself a little Halloween decoration. Okay. Um, and then we got our type of knots. Um, and we also got our little Kilgore teeth. So um, <laughs> there's that guy, he's pretty creepy. Um, and this fleshy bit is pretty gross feeling, but, um, I don't know, supposedly it's going to be really helpful when we're actually like learning, um, how to do everything. So to simulate like the cheeks and whatnot. But, um, today actually, I, I mean, I guess I could have gone over it earlier, but today we actually learned the different quadrants of mouth and everything. So this will be a really good, uh, study tool. And we also got teeth for adults and for children. These are the adult teeth. Oh, and some of them are already popping out, so that's not good. Um, we use these in class today too, so I had to take them out of the package, but that's what they look like. And the children ones, I mean, they look basically the same. Um, there's just less of them, obviously. So, little baby teeth. All right, and then for the second day, which was today of boot camp, um, we did a little bit more class time. Um, so I guess um, school started a week later this semester. I had no idea, but because of that, they started to incorporate some of the classes into boot camp. So um, we did dental terminology, and we also did an anatomy lecture, um, and then we finished up all of the handbook um, review and everything like that. Um, and then. Lunch was pretty fun because we got to meet our tooth bud, which is the second year um, class. We got paired up with them and basically if we have any questions or if we need help with anything, they're going to be like our mentor to kind of help us through the process. Um, so I got to meet my tooth bud and um, they also, during the luncheon, um, we got free Pizza Hut, so that was pretty fun. But it's a, uh, we had like a meeting for, um, SADA, I think is S A D S A D H A, which stands for, oh man, I already forgot, but basically it's Dental Hygiene Association, um, but it's the student version. And um, I'm actually really excited about that because it sounds like they're going to be doing a lot of community service and doing a lot of fun activities. And I think that's definitely going to help um, with the whole enrichment um, of the school. I think it's going to make for a really fun time. So I'm excited for everything that that has to offer. Um, and then after we met up with our tooth bud and we ate lunch, um, we had a, a fun group activity. So we all went to um, uh, an escape room um, and I've actually been to most of the rooms that the, uh, for the one that we went to, um, but I did not go to the one that I did today and we didn't get out unfortunately, but it was, it was fun, you know, we got a bond and uh, we all had a good time. If you guys want, uh, continue watching if you want to see some more random stuff. So uh, I'll show you like all the books that I got. There's so many books um, and they were all really expensive, but um, I can show those off to you if you want. Um, and then I'll also show you our Tooth Buds got us a little welcome gift. So that was pretty fun. So I'll show you that here too. Um, but I'll just go through each book. And then, I don't know, maybe you'll have an idea of what kind of books you might be using in your dental hygiene school if you end up going to uh, school next year or the year after or something. So first up is this book right here. And from what I've heard, this is basically like the dental hygienist's like Bible. Um, supposedly we're going to be using this like throughout our whole time. It has a lot of good information. So I'm excited to flip through this and, and kind of see what it all has to offer. Um, but it's pretty big and this is something that you probably will definitely use. And also in this semester, I'm going to be taking um, radiology. So we've got two books that go with that. I've got a dental management book. 
the the fundamentals of periodontal instrumentation and I have two different teachers for my anatomy class so one teacher um, has this illustrated anatomy of the head and neck book that we have to use and then the other one um, is uh, this illustrated uh, dental embryology histology and anatomy book um, pretty straightforward one's a workbook one is the actual book and then lastly I don't know um, what part of the, the program we're going to be using this for. I'm assuming probably pharmacology, which I'm not taking yet. Um, but this is just a drug information handbook for dentistry. So this will probably come a little bit later. And then lastly, um, this isn't a textbook that I bought, but I did want to mention that I got a, um, a planner from Plum Paper. Uh, not sponsored, but I'm going to be trying it out. And if I do enjoy this, I might end up posting a video just kind of going through how I use it and everything but so far I really like it um, you can get it customized and and everything on the inside which again I'll go through in more detail if I end up really liking it but I did put this fun sticker on it um, shout out to my friend Ashley she does um, really cute crafty stuff and I had her make me a giant tooth sticker with my initials so um, I don't know I thought that was really fun and then also, um, forgot to mention the Toothbud little welcome gift that they gave us. Um, we got a face mask and some chocolate. Um, we got pens and chapstick, post-it notes. Um, we got this really, really cute little mug, which I'm excited about, this really cute iridescent one. And then we also got a dry erase board, which um, I talked to um, one of the second year students and she said this is going to come in handy quite a bit, so I'm glad this was in there. So for this year, um, I'm actually just reusing a backpack that I had um, bought near the end of taking my prerequisites. It's just a um, big old Jansport bag. Um, I was looking for something that was going to be big enough to carry <laughs> not everything that I have, but uh, I know there's going to be a lot of coursework and everything. So I wanted to get something that was big. Um, if you guys have another recommendation for a bigger bag, let me know. Not that I'm necessarily in the market for one, but I don't know, like this one is fine for now, but maybe next year I need something better. So if you know of any, let me know. Um, but thanks for watching. I hope you kind of enjoyed it. It was kind of a random video, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to update everyone that I personally know that watches these videos on how my uh, first two days went. They were great. It was fun. I'm very tired, but it was just so much information, but I'm just so excited for this program that I really don't mind how tired I am. Maybe in a few weeks I will be, but for now I'm just kind of running on adrenaline um, and I'm just really excited. So thank you for watching and plans for future videos. Um, what I'll probably do is I may do like a weekly update for this week, maybe. Um, but what I'll probably do is just post like one video a month. Um, I don't want this to kind of overwhelm what I'm doing with school. School is my main priority. But I do want to keep you guys updated, so maybe once a month with a few videos sprinkled in here and there. But I do have an Instagram, um, at Dental Chimney, I think is what I have. Um, so if you want to visit my Instagram, go ahead and do that. And I'll probably be posting more of like weekly updates on there, um, just because that'll be super easy to just post a picture or something really quick. So yeah, feel free to follow me on Instagram and hit the like and subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye.